guys welcome back to my channel it's Ria I know it has been a very long time but today's video we are going to be doing a mini review on some of the products that I picked up from Superdrug and Boots it's not a haul it's not a first impression I've kind of been wearing these products for a couple of days now and I thought I'd just kind of give you my opinion on them really so let's get started this mini review is just on some products that I picked up while I was out the other day from Super Drugs and Boots. We have the Collection Incredi Brow Brow Kit in the shade Brunette, the Elf Poreless Putty Primer, an MUA Blushed Liquid Cream Blush, and a Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream from Sleek. I'm not going to be doing like a proper tutorial so I'm just going to speed through the application and I'll be doing my review on the products at the end. Let's get started! So I went ahead and primed my eyes because I didn't have anything new for that but I'll be taking the collection Eyes Uncovered Just Nude Eyeshadow Palette and creating a look with that. As you can see I just went ahead and finished up my eyes all I did was put some black eyeliner into my waterline and smudged that out with the shade naked and blended that out with the shade suit and I didn't bother to film me doing my base because I wasn't using anything different um, but the next product we'll be jumping into will be the blush <laughs>
Okay, so let's get to my review. So the first product I used was the Collection Incredi Brow Brow Kit. Now it comes with three shades. It came with a little clear brow mascara and this little angle brush. And there's a little mirror actually as well. So the things I liked and the things I didn't like. I did not like the size of the brush. It was really hard to use, it was really small and it kind of made it really difficult to use. I did however like the two powders that came with it and at the minute I am undecided on the clear brow mascara because first of all to get it out the packaging you kind of got to give it a little tug. And then I just feel like it didn't really distribute much product onto my eyebrows. I mean, I'll have to do a wear test and see if it makes any difference to the longevity of the powders, but so far not entirely sold on the brow gel. Oh, oh, it's leaking. Oh my God. Okay. I don't think I'm sold on that. Um, this cost me four pound. And do you know what? I think I'd give it like a three out of five because the powders are quite pigmented. It was easy to work with once I switched to my own brush on the other eye. And yeah, it comes in this cute little compact and it does have three colors. So it kind of gives you the option to kind of play about with it, create fades and all that stuff. So that one, three out of five, we like that. The next product I used was from also from collection this is the eyes uncovered just nude eyeshadow palette it comes with eight eyeshadows and i used six of them so i used all but stripped and bare which were the two lightest shades and i must say i actually really enjoyed using this palette it was easy to build and blend out um, I do wish there was kind of like a middle shade. I know this is technically supposed to be the middle shade, but for me personally, I need a little something in between these two shades just to kind of bring it all together. But the shimmer shades worked really nicely. You could build them up when you sprayed them with a bit of setting spray. It kind of did just make it a little bit more vibrant. And, you know, it's the size of my hand. I can carry it around, quick smoky eye can't complain I'm gonna give this one a four out of five the next product is the one everyone has been wetting themselves over this is the elf poreless putty primer and in terms of making my face poreless yes I can see exactly why everybody is so excited for this product um, it felt really weird to apply there's no smell which is good it did feel really weird to apply I thought it was gonna be a bit like the silly putty I had when I was like Five. but um no actually it was a really good product i don't know how it will work for me personally because normally i need more of a mattifying primer because i have oily skin and it will get oily throughout the day so i'll have to wear this one out and see but overall in terms of like the application it felt really nice it was really smooth it did smooth out my pores so that's a bonus um, yeah, I'd give this one a four out of five. The last product I'm not entirely sold on. This is the MUA Blushed Liquid Cream Blush in the shade Rouge Noir. Now, I don't normally go for liquid blushes, but I thought, okay, I'll give it a try because it was only £2.50. And I really did like the colour. It really does have a really pretty colour. Like when I swatched it, let's see, see how awful this swatch will be. It was a really pretty color but I know okay it says on the back it is lightweight and buildable but then I feel like the more I tried to build it up the more it started to disrupt what was happening underneath and sort of just like taking away my base which kind of annoyed me um it says you could put it on your lips so who knows I think I'll probably end up using it for that and just like a little tint on the lips but in terms of a blush I don't think I love it. I don't think this is going to be a product for me. Nothing against MUA. I love MUA. <clears throat> but yeah, me personally, liquid blushes aren't for me, but I really did like the colour. Like I said, I'll probably use it as a lip tint or something. 
but yeah I'd probably give this maybe a two out of five not because it's a bad product just because it's not really for me and I don't think I'm going to be grabbing this one very much but I do like how it kind of left my skin with like a nice dewy finish so the last product I am absolutely in love with this is the <coughs> matte me ultra smooth matte lip from sleek in the shade hellacious and it is just this lovely burnt orange shade let me see if I can Now they are really soft and they are really smooth. It doesn't feel drying. It's definitely not tacky because it's matte. It's definitely dried down by now. And even the formula is soft. The way the color just dries down into like a nice soft burnt orange. I feel like I could wear this nude. I feel like I could like put this with something really bold. I don't know. I really like this. And I think I'm going to be picking these up in lots of different colors. I am going to give this for wearing it the first time, I'm probably going to give this a 5 out of 5. Obviously, I don't know how long it being matte will last throughout the day. Will it start to crack and peel and all those horrible things? I'll have to let you know. But yeah, definitely 5 out of 5 and I'm going to pick up some more colours. So that was my mini haul, mini review. It wasn't even a haul. It was just I was out. I picked up some products and I thought, let me just sit down because I haven't filmed in forever but i'm back i am better than ever and dare i say bigger than ever no because i haven't grown since i was 12 but i am back and hopefully now i will be uploading content more frequently and lots more reviews and first impressions and tutorials will be coming your way so thanks for watching today's video and i'll see you in my next one